Oh, this brings back many, many memories, fun memories, beautiful memories. Years ago. We were young, impressionable. The Hotel Niagara was bustling with activity. It was one of the places to be. Icon, exactly. Yeah, an icon. This place is an icon. These days, it's a shuttered building looking for a rebirth. Wednesday, doors that have been closed to the public for a decade were open so potential developers can see the hotel's potential and allowing people to reclaim the memories they built here years ago. Me and my wife had our wedding reception. It was a Polish wedding. We had a polka band. We had all the ceremonial activities. We got carried around in the air and on, our, on chairs. Sorority dances and weddings often filled this ballroom to capacity. Filled. Yes, because, oh, people used to invite two to three hundred guests. The 12-story, 200-room hotel will be auctioned off later this month after the last renovation efforts were stalled mid-project a few years ago. You look at it now and it's, it's, it's sad. Anyone looking to breathe new life into this building has a big job ahead of them. Many of the rooms on display today have the carpeting, flooring, even the marble gone, stripped down to the bare bones. It seems like they went in and just kind of stripped everything as compared to doing a little at a time. So, I mean, it wouldn't be operable without putting a lot of money in it. The hope is that someone will see a future here in the city's past and later this month make a bid. We have uh, one of the, what, seven wonders of the world here? So why not? In Niagara Falls, Adam Francis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.